Yo, what's happening guys? My name is Beastie and welcome back to the channel and today we are playing a new game entitled Mad Games Tycoon. Now, a lot of you remember a game I played called YouTuber's Life and admittedly the game was cool and all but it just... I don't know, it didn't have the certain element of grinding! It didn't make you feel awesome for playing the game a lot and, you know, continuing to progress. But this game is different. It's like a tycoon game on steroids and, best of all, it's all about games tycoon. You're basically a game developer and you're making games and developing games and you're out there doing stuff. You are Gabe. You're Lord Gaben. You literally are. And that's what this is. Yeah, well, actually, hold up. Just remember. There we go, now I can stand up proud and tall, but I, I decided to readjust my chair. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be playing this game, and at first you're probably like, well, what, what, why is this so cool? Believe me, you'll understand when we jump into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a new game, and my name, of course, is Bista. I mean, what else would it be? And, um, uh, company name. What is a beautiful, beautiful company, na company name uh, that we could go by? Um, you know what? I'm gonna go by, um, actually, hold up. No, uh, oh, uh, no, uh, 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 Scrotum Incorporated, the world's best game development company. Now, let's choose our logo. We can go through here and choose a company logo. What looks like a scrot- <laughs> All right, hold on. I, I, let's chill, let's chill. Let's not be too crazy. Let's see now, um, which of these look like Scrotum Incorporated? Something that looks Scrotum-ish, Scrotum-ish. Oh my, wait, these are real game de de developers. Oh, let's see if we can uh, find out which one. There's EA, which is EA, duh. There's Atari. Um, do I notice any other ones in here? Uh, uh, S Sega? I, I can't remember. I, I know that's something though. Microsoft, that's hilarious. I know what that is, I just can't remember it. That's Nintendo over there. Ubisoft right there. <laughs> I can't believe they actually did that. That's Rockstar Games right here. We got Blizzard over here. I know what that is too. I, I can't remember it though. And then we got some random ones down here. All right, so Scrotum Incorporated. I think we're going to go work in Apple because I don't know why. Our country of choice, it's America. And also, uh, it offers a 5% bonus for first person shooters. So that's pretty good. We're a male, of course. Scrotum Incorporated has been born. Character skills. Special features. Uh, woo! Oh my, 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 We got mod support. I don't care about mods. Now, again, this is supposed to be realistic to a game development cycle. Save game support, no. The game I want to make is a very cool old school Call of Duty, so we're going to have to go with that. We've got 16 color support. Cutscenes, no, I don't care about cutscenes. Uh, stereoscopic 3D, nah, I don't know what that even means. I'm sure all the geeks are freaking out right now. Don't you know what all this means, you dumbass? And, uh, let's see now. Joystick driver, no, nah, nah. These are all, like, old school terms. I don't really see anything like first-person shooter support or Unreal Engine or something like that. Augmented reality support. Oh, multi-threaded support. That, that, there we go. That's what I want. There we go. Special genre. Um, do we have shooter? Where's shooter at? Real-time strategy, first-person shooter, boom! All right, now we got five points. We have game design, programming, graphics, music, and sound, office work, speed, and work will. Okay, so I want to go with, let's go with the game design because obviously if we're designing games, the game design is probably the most important part. So that's what we're gonna go with is game design. There we go, game speed. Uh, okay, so they're talking about the actual game I'm playing now. Let's go with slow and, oh! Select starting year, 2010, hell yeah. Uh, if I could, I'd push this all the way to 2016. Easy, I wanna go easy, it's just, just, let's, just let's take it easy, cause you know your boy, you know how dumb I can be and how hard things can be, so we're gonna take it easy because, well, I mean, that's just me. I take the easy road. And here we are. Hello, I will teach you the basics of Mad Games Tycoon. You see your empty building on the screen. We will change that soon. To move the camera, hold down the right mouse button and move the, the mouse. Uh, we should be the office of, okay, all right, all right. That's nice, that's nice. So, uh, there we go. All right, there we are. Scr <laughs> Scrotum Incorporated with the Apple symbol right there. This, this is, oh my God. This is a tiny, tiny building. How in the world do they expect me to make a game in such a tiny place. This looks like part of my garage that's been sectioned off. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, let's click on this. Development, okay. 
Now you can plan your room, move the mouse cursor to the floor building, hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse. This determines... So okay, alright, alright, gotcha, gotcha. So, to build this is going to take $10,500. And let's go with the simple 4x4. Four four. There we go. 14000 Oh my god. And place door. Let's put the door right here. Easy access to the uh, garage exit in case there's a fire. We can save Call of Duty and rush out quicker. You've built your first office. You need a desk for your employee or, or for you or an employee. Well, it's, you know, it's just me. No one wants to be working for me yet. To begin working. Okay, so, uh, all right, all right, all right. We can go to desk here. And uh, bear in mind. Oh, wait, what? I have $4.4 million. Okay, all right, I guess choosing easy wasn't a good idea, but that's okay. Wait, this is just a basic jump in. Let's go with Volt Desk. Let's go with the most expensive desk possible because I am rich. Oh my god, that's that's kind of a small office, but that's all right. Uh, once you've placed your desk, you can now click the cancel button. Why would I want to press, press cancel? Cancel? With the mouse button, you can choose... Okay, oh, all right, I got you. Why would I want to... Oh, I got it. Okay, I got it. All right, we, we put the desk in. That's all that matters. You uh, have to tell your employees in which office they are to work. Search for your player. Okay, well, this is me. So, I'm going to be working in there. There we go. And then press this. Develop a game. All right, all right. Now we're in the good part, which is developing a game. So, game number one is going to be Call, or call of Duty. Call of Duty, not Space Warfare. Because I hate Space Warfare. I'm sorry. Um, game size. Let's go with Triple A title, boys. It's a big ass game. Select target audience. We're gonna go with uh, teenagers, cause you know adults like the game, children like the game, but teenagers, it's kind of right in that between point. Here you can make the different settings. Wait, why is it raining outside? That doesn't make sense. Um, subtopic: boxing cowboys. Can you imagine Call of Duty with cowboys in it? Candy. Oh yeah, candy boys. Religion, farming, economy, fairies. Oh my god, what the hell? Let's go with tanks because that, that sort of makes sense. Let's select a topic. Uh, okay, this doesn't make sense. Historical? Eh, I, I, yeah, yeah, I guess so. I could kind of see it being historical. And this is going, of course, to be a shooter skill. That, I guess it's skill because it, it is, you know, it's after all a first person shooter. You need skill to play it. That makes sense. Select subgenre. We're going to go with strategy. Without engine. Ooh! Without engine. Okay, uh, can I do anything here? I guess we don't have an engine. Select license, no license. Buy licenses. Ooh! Melton. The Believer. What are these? I I have no idea what these are. I, I don't care. I'm not going to mess with it. All right, so here's our first game we're going to be developing. It is a triple A title game with one man that's going to develop this. It's a bit ambitious, but it's going to cost us $2.5 million. It's called Call of Duty, not Space Warfare. We're probably going to fail, but, you know, it's just some fun, so it's okay. We're going to do this. Select platform. Oh, God. All right. Um, select platform. Personal computer. Do I have any other? Nope. I guess it's personal computer. It is then. There we go. Uh, select copy protection. My game fan letters. Complete game reports. Uh... What does this even mean? Okay, I understand, I understand. We've got gameplay and we've got graphics. So we're gonna go with gameplay. Gameplay is the most important. Graphics come second, especially with games like this. It's very important to have gameplay number one. Story or game game length? Um, well, it's not really story-based, I don't suppose, but I suppose we'd want more of the story to be important. Atmosphere or functions? Functions number one. Atmosphere is not that important. Game depth or beginner friendly? Game depth, all the way. Core gamer or casual gamer? Core gamer. Well, uh, okay, maybe not that much. We'll put it right there. You know, you have to be a consistent COD player in order to enjoy the game. But at the same time, you know, casuals can jump in if they want to. As a matter of fact, probably right in the middle is good for Call of Duty. All right. Now, here we have the choice for priority. I want the gameplay to be the number one priority. Sound will come down a little bit. Technology is going to come up a little bit and basically what we're left with is a game that does not perform the best with graphics Which is okay. They don't have to look at counter-strike. It's amazing and it doesn't have the best graphics Gameplay is number one priority next up technology and then sound so that that's pretty good and uh, Languages languages. Oh, I could just choose all of them. eh? Uh, yeah, that's a bit extreme. Let's just go with the basic ones here we, we've been given. So that basically we've got uh, this subsection right there. So I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's continue Graphics, tech support, sound, um, graphic, tech support, 
text-driven graphics system. I don't really think text is that important, honestly. I'm not gonna mess with any of this. And we are done! Zero percent, Call of Duty, not space warfare, and uh, we have to develop. Well done, your employees start working automatically. You can now adjust the game speed with these buttons. Now increase the game speed and wait until your game has been completed. Well, seems uh, seems relatively, e relatively easy now, huh? He, oh my god, 30% by one man. He's developing Call of Duty, 50% by one man. Breakdown, someone released a game entitled Breakdown. What is this? What is that? Here is where your purchase dev kits, license, copy protections, edges from a car. Ooh, Call of Duty Space, uh, not Space Warfare. The work of this game has been completed. You can now release your game now. Hey, this, this looks like Tetris. Do not tell me my game is Tetris. Find publisher. Okay, so, um, let's see. We got Simcoe, Roar, and Tate, 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 hold on, how he says? Day two, Tate two? I, I, I'm trying to, I, I, don't, I, I don't even know. Call of Duty, not Space Warfare, Scrotum Incorporated. This is the worst artwork I've ever seen. The sound is really bad. It makes my ears hurt. The controls are a disaster. The game is unplayable. The gameplay is just terrible. They should really have improved this. What a lousy game. I nominate it as the worst game of the year. You can't do that. It's one man that made this. Okay, all right. Well, I knew that was going to be a disaster. And we lost 2.5 million dollars. Well, that, that's very nice. Uh, that's just not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. Well done. You released the first game. Now you understand the basics of Mad Games Tycoon. You're now ready to start your own game empire. Have fun. This episode was a disaster. We had a chance to practice now. We understand a little bit of what's going on. So next time we play this game, I believe that we will be ready to actually do some real stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is Mad Games Tycoon, and uh, we'll, we'll check it out uh, again and definitely have some more fun with this. This time was just a little, you know, get to getting acquainted type of deal, but hope you guys enjoyed the video, and peace out.